The Information and Communication Standard is part of the Integrated Accessibility Standards Regulation of the Accessibility for Ontarians with Disabilities Act 2005. This video provides information that helps businesses make their websites and web content accessible. The Human Resources Professionals Association presents today's exciting episode, Harold Jeepers in Auditing Your Website for Accessibility. This is Harold. He is a manager at Jiffy Brothers Industry. He fixes a cable beneath his desk. He's using the latest internet technology to communicate with the marketing team. He taps on his monitor to get it working. This is Sonia. She is Jiffy Brothers' go-to HR person and a certified human resources professional. Harold tells Sonia that he is video conferencing with Jiffy Brothers' marketing team. Sonia waves to the team. They wave back. Harold explains that they are on track to update all printed documentation. Sonia asks the marketing team when was the last time they updated the website. They say, about five years ago. Sonia asks Harold to check out their site. Harold enters the air into the web browser. The Jiffy Brothers site is a hodgepodge of flashing animations, blinking text, and strange noises. Sonia tells Harold that there are international standards for website accessibility called the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines, WCAG. Ontario's Information and Communication Standard requires that new or refreshed websites of businesses with 50 or more employees meet WCAG guidelines. The guidelines cover writing web content in clear language, providing alternative text for images, and making sure the site is navigable by just a keyboard. The standard exempts businesses with less than 50 employees from the requirement to meet WCAG guidelines. But accessible websites have better search results, can raise your site ranking, and it's a good thing to do. Harold announces that the first thing they should do is to audit the existing site and come back with recommendations. Sonia tells Harold, great idea. She gets up and leaves. How do we audit a website? asks Harold. Charlie suggests running it through an online accessibility checker. Harold types www.achecker.ca into his browser. 2,321 known problems, Harold says. Is that bad? The marketing team nod their heads. Harold tells them that means Jiffy Brothers is not accessible to many potential customers. That's bad for their brand and bad for business. The marketing team agrees. An accessibility audit will review whether or not your website is presented in a logical, predictable way that makes it easy for users to navigate and find content, has a strong contrast between text and background and avoids blinking images, includes content that can be presented using assistive technologies, like screen readers, without losing meaning, and provides captions and text alternatives for images and multimedia. Harold says Jiffy Brothers definitely needs to make a new, simpler website. He tells them to research the WCAG Web Content Accessibility Guidelines and asks when a proper audit can be completed. Marketing tells him in one week. How's it going? asks Sonia. Harold tells her that they are going to create a new website but he will wait for a proper manual audit to be completed, including trying it with a screen reader. Sonia agrees. What is it? asks Harold. The marketing person says they will have only one problem regarding the audit and any new website. Boris! The marketing team members cower together. Who's Boris? asks Harold. Sonia tells him that Boris is the world's greatest designer. He designed the Jiffy Brothers website. Someone will have to tell Boris what we are planning. You have been watching part one of Accessible Websites. Stay tuned for the conclusion of this exciting Accessible Website story as Harold confronts Boris, the world's greatest designer in Ego Gone Wild. To learn more and download free tools and resources, go to ontario.ca slash access on. 
This video is part of HRPA's Enabling Change Partnership project with the Government of Ontario. Special thanks to LinkUp Employment Services for persons with disabilities, for connecting us to their employees and clients as cast members. LinkUp.ca, produced by Keyring Media, www.keyringmedia.com.